Whew. In this video, I'm gonna be doing a Q&A about the Apple Card, which is Apple's credit card experience extravaganza. It's gonna be cute. You're gonna love it. Let's get into it. Greetings, glorious glitches in the matrix. It is Ben Aqua, and I have been using the Apple Card now for a little under three weeks. It's been a pretty cool experience, and I've learned a lot about it. So if you haven't seen my previous video on the Apple Card, I did kind of like a review slash overview of what I think about the design, the functionality of it, the build quality. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it in the description below. And also while you're down there, smash the like and subscribe buttons, you know what to do. I've gotten a lot of questions on my previous video about the Apple Card, so let's get into it. What credit score score do you need to get approved? Apple doesn't officially list this on their website. I was approved with a credit score of about 740, 750, I believe. And I've seen other articles where people are getting approved with like a 640, 620. People are also getting approved with no credit at all. So you can start out with just the Apple card as your first credit card. The only thing is your credit limit will probably be pretty low, like something like $250 or something to get you started. So you can basically start out with no credit score and get approved for an Apple card. And that's pretty cool. Question number two, how much were you approved? So I was approved for $2,500. Cause like I said, my credit score was about 750 and $2,500 for me is plenty to get started. I don't really make that many huge purchases. In fact, when I buy more expensive things, it's usually camera gear or more Apple products because damn you Apple, you keep making fire products. I'm probably gonna get the iPhone 11. When you applied, how long did it take for it to process or to be accepted? The way to apply for the Apple Card is to go into your wallet app on your iPhone and then you'll see there's this little thing, apply for the Apple Card. It's pretty quick and for me, it processed basically immediately. It took maybe 10 seconds for it to process. And then the virtual Apple Card was already added to my Apple Wallet and I could use it immediately. So for the physical card to actually show up, it took about five to seven business days, I believe. I think I got mine in about five days. It was really quick and very seamless, very Apple. I've mostly been using my Apple card with Apple Pay on my phone. I have used the physical card a few times and works fine. Can you use this card online and does it have any numbers? Yes, you can use the card online, and yes, it does have numbers. It has an expiration date. It has a security code. It's basically just like any other type of credit card, except it's Apple's version of a credit card. So if you wanna see the card's actual number, so you can manually put the number, you know, to buy stuff online or whatever, you go into your wallet app, you tap on the Apple card, and then you tap on the little icon in the top right, and then you just tap on card information. It'll scan your face or use Touch ID for security purposes. And then under there, you can see the name on your card, Card, your card number, expiration date, security code. You can even request a new number for your card, like if your card gets hacked or compromised. How do you pay the monthly statement? Write a check. So in order to pay off your card, you're gonna need some type of funding account. I use a checking account, so you just go into the wallet app. I linked my checking account to my Apple card, and then I set auto pay so my card is automatically paid off in full at the end of every billing cycle when the payment is due. You can also pay early if you want, but I think the easiest thing to do is just to set an auto pay thing, link it to your checking account, and then you don't have to worry about it as long as you have enough money in your checking account to actually fund it. So don't spend more than you actually have in your checking account because that's a really good way to ruin your credit and then starts the downward spiral of debt and you don't wanna go down that road, trust me. How old do you have to be to apply? 18 years old. So I barely made the cut. Does the Apple Card help build your credit also? Yes, the Apple Card will also help build on your credit because it's basically, like I said earlier, a normal credit card. It just has the Apple logo on it. And it comes with this fancy little card and pretty cool wallet experience. Would I be able to get the Apple Card if I do not have credit history? I want to get this card in order to start building up my credit score. I have not had any other type of credit card before. People in my comments section are actually saying that they got approved for the Apple Card with no credit and this is their first card ever. But because they didn't have a credit score, they were only able to have a $250 maximum credit limit, meaning you can only spend up to $250 on your Apple card if you have zero credit and you're starting from nothing. So if you don't have a credit history, you should be able to get an Apple card. And if anyone else has experienced something differently, please let me know in the comments. I'm a high schooler, I have a class for college. They told us how credit cards work and all that jazz, but I'm still wondering, do you need a real bank account to pay this Apple card back? I don't have a bank account, so like, do I need one to apply? I would suggest getting a bank account. There's a lot of local credit unions you can even check out that have really low fees or no monthly fees, and you're gonna have to put some money into some type of account in order to be able to fund the credit card. So in other words, you can't just get a credit card unless you have a bank account or some way 
to actually put money towards paying off the credit card. Otherwise, you just end up racking up a bunch of debt. And like I said, you don't want to go down the debt route. Do they run a hard or soft inquiry? Damn, y'all are getting kinky. According to this article, the industry norm is to record a hard inquiry, whether you were approved or declined for a card. Apple and Goldman Sachs are going a different route. So basically, you will be getting a hard inquiry onto your credit if you're approved by Apple and if you accept the terms of the agreement. Costco, they don't accept MasterCard, are you sure? So in my previous video, I talked about how I tried to use my Apple Card at Costco, and I realized that the Apple Card is a MasterCard and Costco only accepts Visa or maybe Discover. So I wasn't able to actually use my Apple Card at Costco. You can use MasterCard at Costco, except it has to be a debit card. The Apple Card is a credit card. It's not a debit card, but it is a credit card issued by MasterCard. So unfortunately, as far as I know, you're not able to use the Apple Card at Costco. And then the final question, is this a joke? I don't know, Cash Brown, is it? Is reality a joke? Is any of this real? Are you real? So that wraps up the most popular questions I've gotten about the Apple Card so far. If you have any more questions for me, let me know in the comments. I love replying and seeing how y'all interact in there, so I'll see you there. Like, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the next video. And because it's hot as hell in this studio, you can actually use the Apple Card to fan your face when you are covered in sweat.